Yes, of course, on last Sunday was the South Australian Country Footy Championships. Sport to us, of course, they had a great sponsor in Think Road Safety. Which we all Our should. boys got yeah. up Southern Districts. It was an interesting game too, Baz. So, yeah. Uh, I wasn't looking all that comfortable at half time, but uh, of course there's two halves in footy as we know. So we need to get to the boys. First time they've won it in six years over Centrals that won it the year before. The president of the Great Southern Footy League, Terry Corcoran, joins us. And of course the prez from the Southern Footy League, Craig Warman. Let me start with you, Terry. What were you thinking at half time, mate? Two goals, 11. Two goals, 11, you're down. Uh, not kicking too straight, obviously, to five goals. A lot of those goals, those points rather, were actually rushed points by the opposition as well. So, uh, but our guys were always in it. The, the type of football that uh, the Southern Districts team were playing or, or trying to play was a bit more free flowing than what uh, Centrals did. But uh, I was confident that we were still in touch all the time with our points, obviously adding up. We were always fairly close to the moment. There was only a couple of goals in it. All right, then you open up in the last quarter, mate, with a seven goal four last quarter to become 43 point winners. So, Craig, I'll give you a chance to speak on. on did you think it was going to go that way? We were always in the game, uh, yeah. as, as Terry alluded to, uh, but uh, kicking out with three points down three quarter time. <coughs> first, first ruck out of the centre, Lee Howie grabbed the ball, two bounces, kicked a long goal, and uh, that set, set the momentum straight. We were then in front uh, and never looked back from there. It was just. Uh, and from there, the boys really excelled with what the game game, game pattern they had been trying to play all day. Was it a breeze? Did you have a breeze? Or uh, no? There was a little bit. There was bit. a bit of a breeze about. On there Sunday. was a little bit, but not... Uh, Favouring? Not, not seven goals. Okay. Favouring, Favouring our end in the last yeah. quarter. Yeah. But well, seven goals. goals. That's, that's a big quarter. That's a, yeah. well, it's a match-winning quarter, isn't yeah, it, really? You, so you would have been delighted, them. both of you gentlemen, I would think, with the outcome there. When is a Grinners? <laughs> winners are winners. Winners are winners. And, and as, as Phil said, Central were the last winners of the, uh, yes. of yeah, the they Cup. Yeah, uh, Last year, no game, of course. But 2019, yep. Yep. Centrals were the, uh, the winners period, of that. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. they're always going to be a tight one. So seven's the magic number. Seven goals, seven players from uh, the Southern Districts team into the All-Star Country Championship team. So it was a, 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 to say it was a really good weekend is probably understating it. It was an excellent weekend all round, really. Um, on top of the seven that we got into the um, the side, uh, young Bailey Marshman um, from the Ranella Football Club. Billy be really proud uh, because. Uh, Sorry, he, could you say that again? What footy club? Yeah, the Ranella Football Rinella. Club. Oh. Just in case. He, uh, <laughs> he was he was named the uh, under twenty one player yeah. of the championship. Wow. So that's a pretty big accolade for uh, very big a young bloke who's only just turned nineteen. So yeah. uh, he's got a. Big future ahead of him. You want to sign him up, Bess? Do we get through unscathed? Yeah, really. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Really well, yep. yeah. Another we did. No injuries uh, yeah. or nothing major to, to speak of. Yeah. Um, but uh, also touch on, on the girls. They were very unlucky not to, uh, to reach the final. Uh, dipped out in their first game. A uh, little bit of inaccurate kicking. Uh, saw them lose their first game by three points. Uh, so they played off for third and fourth. Um, the second game they played... Absolutely blitzed the opposition, 10 goals to nothing, um, and had a pretty comfortable win in the uh, match between third and fourth. Well, they won that against the Western Zone or something, the, the, yeah. the girls? Yeah. yeah, they did. So, yeah, you, you so all, all in all, across the whole, whole weekend, both male and female, uh, very well represented uh, in, the, uh, in the championship. Well, Excellent. we spoke to you both last week about how important the volunteers were, how important it was to get it to run smoothly, and Victor Harbour uh, put on a great show. Did it go according to plan? Volunteers oh, were amazing? Both, both clubs, Victor Harbour and Encounter Bay, because the men's were played in Encounter Bay on the Saturday. And uh, there was a, I think crowd-wise, uh, cr across the two grounds, there was over 5,000 on Saturday. Really? And uh, it, was, uh, it was humming in both places. And the, uh, the food, food was getting sold out pretty quickly. And the, I think the alcohol and the soft drinks were going pretty well too. So, but the volunteers yeah. were fantastic. At, at, at both clubs, in Canada Bay and Victor Harbour. So what happens to the championships now? What, what, uh, do you have to bid again? Or do yep. it, uh, are, you like, are you a chance to get it again? Or it, do they like to move it around a little well, bit? Well, they like to move it around. but uh, And I think next year, it hasn't been decided as yet, but I would, I'd be, I'd be <coughs> not surprised if it went to uh, Kadena, as they were uh, the 2020 uh, people who missed out, unfortunately. Yeah. And it would be the right thing to do, I think, if that's any... Oh, OK. But... Uh, we have our centenary in uh, 2023 uh, for the Great Southern Football League and we'll be putting in a tenure yeah. for 2023. So who do you go to to do this? Who, who, who runs this? The, the, Central Community. Oh, okay. Community. So, yeah, yeah. okay. 
Okay, so mm, look forward to that. Well, often when you have a great weekend, and you talked about being excellent, and we know the players get up and about and they win it, and of course they've all got to back up and start back with their clubs this weekend. For you two guys, kind of rolls later into the night, you know, wrapping things up. Then you get a chance to reflect. On reflection, for you guys, what's the takeaway, other than the success of winning it and, and all that? Well, for me, the, the takeaway on, on both the girls and the, and the men's side was the fact that everyone bought into the program that we set uh, with, with the, coaching, the, the coaching staff that we, we had on both sides. Congratulations to Scotty Wendelbaum. He's played in a lot of these games. Uh, Russell Van Vliet from Flagstaff Hill, we, have, we've, so we saw a couple of weeks ago. That real calming influence across that, the fact that they were able to get everybody to gel to one idea, and they were well supported off field with the trainers and, and everyone else. So yeah. Yeah. it was just a real good buy in from everybody. Yeah. You know, when you, and we're always looking to improve, be it the coaches want to coach the game better, the players want to play better. You guys, on reflection again, look at it and go, what areas do you think we could improve a little bit in that area? Yeah. Oh, oh, look, there, there's, there's probably uh, various things that we, we could look at, yeah. but that'll take time. We'll, we'll sit back and, uh, and reflect uh, on that. But um, from my perspective as team manager of the, of the, uh, the men's side, uh, I couldn't ask for a better bunch of blokes to, uh, to look after. They, we said, you've got to be here at a certain time. They were there at that time. Yeah. So they so were very, very well, very yeah. well um, <laughs> we were really, really pleased the way they bought into the program. But well, I'm interested in the medal that you, that you hold around your hand there. How many of those are given after the game? Uh, well, you've got the whole um, whole playing it's group. About 30 odd. Yeah, thir about 30 odd. So coaches and... Coaches uh, and the support staff. See, oh, oh, I, I reckon this is fantastic. No, oh, the presence. Yeah. He's team but, manager. Yeah, team manager gets one. <laughs> oh, but team you know, manager. <laughs> I've argued this for a long time in the AFL, that yeah. there's not enough given to the people that are involved. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I reckon it's fantastic that you do that. that that's the only reason mm. I'm asking. I think, I think there's a lesson to be learnt well, yeah. from that. One thing that happened on the night after, after the event, and we were sitting around having a few uh, sherbies and so forth, and a few frothies and so forth, but uh, Herman Lucas, who's been a long-term... Uh, great Southern and life Southern member. football life member, and uh, of the of the uh, Southern Districts, he uh, he received a medal as well, and he took it over to the head trainer Amy to Fabio and put it around her neck and said, yeah. "This is yours, Dale." Excellent. Excellent. And yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's what it's all you about. Love that. No, yeah, that, that is a great stuff. story to close on too. Hey, well done to Southern Districts and yeah. you, Blake. It's been a terrific year so far. Obviously, uh, we'll be back next week talking about the Southern Footy League as well, but. Terrific weekend had by Southern Districts. Get over the top of Centrals by 43 points. They had some great sponsorship and, of course, none better than Think Road Safety were a big part for them as well. Stay with us. A bit more to come.